I'm going to go over using sodium bromide in your pool to get rid of some mustard or yellow algae in your pool. This is what I pretty much use exclusively on my route to treat algae. I'll show you the Nava algae, yellow algae remover today. Okay, so this is Nava yellow algae remover. It's a sodium bromide product, a lot like the other ones that I use. It's just a different brand of the product. It's got a little bit of yellow algae on this wall here. There's some spots of it on this far wall in the pool. And there's a little bit here in the spa area on this back wall that's in the shade. And usually algae will grow in the shade of your pool. That's where you'll find a lot of your yellow algae, mustard algae. One thing you gotta remember with the sodium bromide product is that it destroys the chlorine in your pool. Basically it converts it to a bromine bank and that's what kills the algae. So it'll basically eat the chlorine out of your pool and you add this to your pool. So you have to make sure you have a good chlorine level like I mentioned and you also have to uh, add liquid chlorine or Clorox bleach when you add this product to keep the chlorine level high. First thing you want to do is check your chlorine level and make sure you have some chlorine in your pool. This one here is about 1.0. It's a little bit low. You want to also adjust your pH down to about 7.4 to 7.6 to make the chlorine more effective in the pool. So this one definitely needs some chlorine also besides the chlorine I'm going to add with the uh, Nava product. So if your pool is yellow because you have no chlorine in your pool, you definitely want to bring your chlorine level back up. Um, I would definitely shock your pool. I would use liquid chlorine like here. This is 12.5% liquid chlorine, which is good to bring your chlorine level up quickly. And you want to bring it up to 5 to 10 parts per million to be effective in keeping a good chlorine residual. You also want to make sure you have condition in your pool and check that. You can take a sample of your water into your local pool store or you can get the AquaCheck uh, 7 in 1 test strips. And this has a good conditioner test on here that I use that will give you a cyanuric acid level. You want it to be between 30 and 50 parts per million uh, for the chlorine to stay in your pool. Go ahead and add a gallon of liquid chlorine right now to bring the chlorine level up in this pool. So that'll kind of super chlorinate the pool and help the product from eating all the chlorine out of here. I'm going to recheck the chlorine level here after adding the one gallon of liquid chlorine. I'm pretty sure it's pretty high. And as I suspected, the chlorine level is pretty high here. So that, and that's what you want when you use any kind of uh, sodium bromide product. You want to have your chlorine level really high to begin with. So if it's low, like 1.0 or below, definitely add some chlorine first before you do the process. You want to check the conditioner level. This one here is about 30 to 50 parts per million, so it's ideal in here. So if it's lower than that, you definitely want to add some cyanuric acid to bring it up. What you want to do is take a steel algae brush. I like using the small uh, six inch brush here, and that's really effective in getting the algae off the walls. There's the algae and all this brush it right off. It comes off really easy with the steel brush. We're going to take about four ounces of this product for the algae spots here and for the spa area. That should be plenty to kill that, no problem. It's roughly four ounces. I'm going to go ahead and fill this up. If your pool has lots of yellow, you want to definitely double, triple, quadruple the dose. Even if your pool is completely green, you can use this product successfully in treating it. You just have to use a lot of it and you have to use a lot of liquid chlorine. the product, I'm going to go ahead and dump it over the spot. After I sprinkle it over the spot, you want to come back and pour the liquid chlorine directly over the area. The little corner in the spot that I brushed off, I'm going to go ahead and put some liquid chlorine over it too. You want to pour it directly over the area, you want to pour the liquid chlorine over it also. And you can see that yellow color reaction chemical. You do use too little chlorine in here. Or don't shock the pool first, you're going to have a lot more yellow algae as the chlorine level zeroes out and the algae will actually spread. So you'll do a lot more damage than good. So definitely make sure your chlorine level is high to begin and add one gallon per four ounces of the yellow algae remover by Nava every time you use it. The yellow algae in your pool is pretty easy with the sodium bromide. Just make sure you have the proper chlorine level when you use this product. That should take care of any yellow algae that forms in your pool.